Connecticut is recognized. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I rise in strong support of Mr. Swazi's resolution, again, saying that uh, it is in America's national interest to protect the Good Friday Peace Accords. As was stated on the floor, the U.S. has equity in this, in this agreement. Uh, the work of George Mitchell back in the 1990s was instrumental, according to all the parties involved, in terms of its success. Since then, Congress has reaffirmed that involvement by appropriating funds for the Northern Ireland Trust Fund, which again promotes reconciliation amongst the sectarian uh, factions that still, unfortunately, are um, apart in, in, to an unfortunate uh, degree. But nonetheless, it has been a great success over the last 21 years. As an undergraduate, a uh, student uh, studying in England in 1973, I visited Belfast and Enniskillen in those dark days of the Troubles, 30,000 British soldiers patrolling the streets, uh, bombings taking place, over 3,000 casualties. Fast forward to today, uh, brought a trade mission from Connecticut over, uh, again, an aerospace focus. Again, there is uh, calm, there is a functioning government and system and rule of law that, again, has transformed that island and particularly Northern Ireland's um, uh, society. And, and it's all about trying to protect that future uh, with this uh, resolution. I would just end by saying this is in accordance with the people of Northern Ireland. When Brexit was voted on, the people of Northern Ireland voted almost 56% to remain in the European Union because they wanted to make sure there was no risk of a hard border. Uh, again, the measure passed, including Great Britain's uh, votes, but only by an even smaller margin of 51%. So this resolution, again, is not just a sentimental um, expression by people here in the U.S. It's totally in accordance with what I think is the, the will and the best wishes of the people of Northern Ireland. So again, I uh, thank the sponsors on both sides of the aisle in terms of making sure that this important diplomatic success of the 20th century, that the U.S. was an instrumental part of, will be protected. I yield back. Gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Sears. Mr. Speaker, I reserve 